Hi Grade 9 students, this is Teacher Lester aka Sir Les and I welcome you all to another fun and meaningful learning. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated of new uploaded videos. For today's discussion, we will be talking about recreational activities. This is actually discussed in the fourth quarter of your module, so without further ado, let's get this discussion started. Class, our lesson for today is entitled Active Recreation. And for us to be guided with our topic and for us to know our goals for today, let's check these objectives or we call them learning competencies. The learner discuss the nature and background of indoor and outdoor recreational activities, participate in active recreation, advocate community efforts to increase participation in physical activities and improve nutrition practices, practice environmental ethics such as leave no trace policy during the participation in recreational activities of the community. And now, let's proceed to our discussion. Our lesson for today, as I have said, is all about active recreation. Let us first define recreation. What do you think recreation is? It is a voluntary participation in an activity during free and unobligated time that gives enjoyment. It means that if you are required to do so, that is not recreation at all. So recreation is actually done during leisure time and these activities are the things that you enjoy the most or interest you the most. It refreshes one's mind and body after a day's work. Embraces both indoor and outdoor activities that refer to sports and exercise leading to the attainment of enjoyment as well as managing our desired weight. So recreation also is done for you to be able to manage your weight and of course maintain a healthy lifestyle. Choosing your own recreational activity is very important because choosing the best recreational activity for your body and for your interest make a big difference with the result. It should also be voluntary. It should meet your recreational satisfaction needs such as physiological or improvement in the physical, educational or improvement in the mind, social or improvement in the way you relate with others, relaxation means um, improvement in the state of mind. Physiological is already mentioned, but I'd like to emphasize psychological aspect as well. This is how you think and behave. And also, the last one is aesthetics or aesthetics means uh, this is more of the improvement of your beauty or shape. These are the terms related to recreation. And uh, you should not forget about this because these are the basics. First one is indoor recreation. When the activity is within the premises of your comfort zone at home or inside a building, that must be an indoor recreation. While when the activity is undertaken in a natural, rural, or open space outside the confines of buildings, usually large land area that is close to the nature, that must be an outdoor recreation. I hope everything is clear to you. Another one is lifestyle. Lifestyle is the way you live your life in an everyday basis. It includes eating habits, physical activity participation, and recreational choice. We also have the term lifestyle change, the best way of preventing illness and early death. How to maintain a healthy lifestyle? These are the answers. Number one, engage yourself in a regular physical activity. Number two, eat healthy foods. Number three, find time to manage stress. And number four, follow a good personal healthy habits. Engage yourself in a regular physical activity means you have your schedule. The minimum time of exercise in a day is 20 minutes or better if 30 minutes and the best if one hour a day. Eat healthy foods mean you have to select the best kind of food you eat. Of course, you have to avoid fatty foods, junk foods, find time to manage stress. You have to have me time or recreation time. You have to do the activities that relax you the most. Just like for example, 
watching TV, watching Netflix, YouTube, or reading books, or also playing games. Follow a good personal healthy habits mean the amount of time you rest or you sleep and the amount of water maybe you take in every day, the kind of food and everything that are discussed above. The health philosophy. What do you think are the meaning of H-E-L-P as far as health is concerned? First one, H means health. Those who believe in the benefits of healthy lifestyle are more likely to engage in healthy behavior. Of course, if you believe in something you do, there will be a positive impact. E means everyone. Healthy lifestyle can be practiced by everyone healthy for all. So this is actually free for all and not restricted to anyone. Maybe you're poor or rich, maybe you're old or young, or maybe you're male or female. So everyone is included actually. And L means lifetime. The longer healthy lifestyles are practiced, the greater the beneficial benefits or the greater the benefits. It means that in everything you do, as long as it's good and it makes you better in terms of your health status, then make it lifetime. For example, in my case, my lifetime physical activity is dancing. So that can be your lifetime exercise, right? And personal, no two people are exactly the same. Your personal needs is the basis of your lifestyle change. So you cannot copy the kind of life others do have. You can have your own lifestyle, you can have your personal because the status of your health is different from them, especially your needs. And what are the factors which affect weight range? Number one, genes. This is something you cannot control. These are inherited traits from your parents. The rapid growth which teens undergo causes a natural healthy weight gain. Girls on their teens have hormonal changes that causes weight change. And number two, environmental factors. But this is something you can control, of course. This includes behavior and lifestyle choices. So be careful of what you see and what you acquire from everyone else around you. You have to be selective and decisive. Now let's proceed to the two types of recreational activities. First one is indoor recreational activity. One example of indoor recreational activity is badminton. Let's take a look at its brief history. Badminton originated from the game Puna. In the year 1870s, when the Duke of Beaufort held a lawn party in his country place, he named it badminton. In the year 1992, Barcelona Olympics when the game became an Olympic sport with singles and double events. These games are held inside the gym to avoid the effect of air in the flight of the shuttle. It is played in singles, doubles or mixed doubles with the use of a racket and shuttlecock. And the total score or points is 21 to win the match. And another indoor recreational activity is volleyball. It is initially called as Mintonet, invented by William J. Morgan at Holyoke, Massachusetts in 1895. In the year 1910, the game was brought to the Philippines by Elwood S. Brown. In the year 1964, volleyball had its Summer Olympics exposure as a medal sport. A sport played with six players per team in a court with 9 by 18 meters dimension and the uses a net, a ball, and court. And we have to remember that a set is won by reaching a score of 25. What are the benefits of sports? First one is in the physical. Of course, when you are moving and when you are doing your exercise, you will improve your physical aspect. Also emotional. In terms of when you win or lose the game, you are improving your emotional aspect. It is about acceptance, win or defeat. And also, you are improving your social or the way you interact with other people. Through sports, you gain friends and camaraderie. And also intellectual, you become strategic and you become fast and decisive in terms of brain functions. And also, we have another indoor recreational activity which is dance. 
it is another indoor alternative recreational activity for those who enjoy the beat of rhythm and movement. Just like me, I love dancing. It is a fantastic and fun form of exercise that gradually raises heart rate. So I find dancing as a very good recreational activity because when you're doing the dancing, you exercise actually your whole body and also you memorize steps and everything. So really, you will improve not only the physical but holistic health. We have types of dance. One example is Zumba Fitness Dance. It is an alternative indoor recreational activity with fitness benefit claims. It was accidentally discovered by a Alberto Beto Perez, a celebrity fitness trainer of Colombia in the mid-90s. These are the benefits of Zumba. It improves cardiovascular health because when you dance Zumba, it's kind of long in duration and you have to endure the state of tiredness while doing the dancing. It helps in losing weight. Of course, you will lose weight when it is become your regular exercise. It relieves stress because when you dance, you go along with the music and music sort of gives us a good vibe most of the time. It improves mood. Yes, of course, it improves mood because when you dance alone or you get along with others, um, you stay happy and they stay positive. It tones the abdominals, of course. Abdominal means the core muscles. So when you dance, actually, all the forces that you do are actually coming from your core. So it, it really improves or tones your abdominal muscles. Let's proceed to outdoor recreational activities. First example is hiking. Hiking is going on an extended walk for the purpose of pleasure and exercise. Pleasure includes having close encounter with nature, enjoying the beauty of the environment, smelling the natural aroma of flowers and trees, and being one with the mother nature. Exercise, on the other hand, pertains to the fitness benefits that we get from the activity. Here are the benefits of hiking. It offers cardiovascular fitness. It gives the feeling of relaxation, it balances your daily life routine, and it's a good option for weight management activity. These are the essential tips. Pick a partner, because when you are with a partner, then you can be safe. Pick a destination. Of course, you have to select the best destination where you can relax. Know your time and distance. So. You don't want to go home late at night. Be physically ready. Of course, you have to condition yourself. Choose your gear and your backpack, not too heavy. Pack and wear appropriate clothing so you don't want to wear a gown or swimsuit. Plan your meals. You have to bring the best food you can eat. And water, of course, is very important. Keep communication lines open so that you can always contact your relatives wherever you are and wilderness ethics, uh, you have to be disciplined while doing the activity. Do not litter, of course. That's very important. 10 essential checklists for backpackers. We have the navigation, the map, compass, GPS, sun protection, sunscreen and lip balm, sunglasses, insulation, sunscreen and lip balm, illumination, headlamp, flashlight, extra batteries, and first aid supplies, first aid kit. Also, fire. The matches, lighter, you, you have to have waterproof container, fire starter. You must have your repair kit and tools as well, knife, multi-tool, kit for stove, mattress, duct tape, and uh, also nutrition, extra day supply of food. Hydration, water bottles, flashlight water filter or other treatment system, and uh, emergency shelter, tan, tarp, reflective blanket are important. Before the hike, you have to be physically fit. You have to be physically conditioned, the mind and the body. Attend to the following concerns, your travel plan or itinerary, possible transportation, budget, food and water to bring, what equipment to bring. And during the hike, uh, you have to be on group formation. You don't leave each other. Pacing. In your pacing, you have to be slow pace. 
trail signs you have to look for trail signs and natural trail signs and uh, this is very important to be observed and also we have aside from hiking orienteering it is an outdoor navigational recreational activity using especially drawn and detailed maps it requires navigational skills to navigate from point to point normally moving at a speed an orienteering course consists of a series of control points which have to be located in order in the shortest possible time these are the benefits of orienteering first one is conceptual aspects number two is physical aspect number three is personal aspect fourth is social aspect and number five environmental aspect the map is very important so you have to bring it it is a picture a representation of the earth's surface it includes a compass rose that shows uh, directions cardinal directions are the four base parts on a compass the top point is north and the point at the bottom is south the side points are called east and west the points in between the cardinal directions are called intermediate directions which include northwest northeast southwest and southeast maps use a key or legend to explain the meaning of each of the symbols used in the map the key usually shows a small picture of each of the symbols used on the map along with a written description of the meaning of each symbol here is an example of the map where you can see the orienteering activity and also we have the legends in terms of color and in terms of lines maybe and also the benefits of having the map is you know where you are and know where you are going orienteering compass it is a magnetized needle floating in a liquid and responding to the earth's magnetic field consequently revealing directions generally a compass is used to measure bearings and to pinpoint locations there are parts of orienteering compass we have the ruler direction of travel arrow base plate magnetic needle meridian lines rotating housing with degree dale orienteering arrow and we have also the index line just follow what i have read through the arrows in the illustration and i guess that's the end of the slide and that's all for today's discussion and i hope that you have learned a lot from this topic active recreation you have to choose the best recreational activity that you want to have in your daily lives or lifestyle and this can be your lifetime recreational activity already so that you will maintain your physical mental social and emotional fitness and wellness of being and uh, class this is your performance task among all the active recreational activities shared to you or you can search the internet to uh, know more about recreational activities just only one to do you can create at most three minute video or vlog while doing it or make a collage of pictures with captions to present your performance in the last part i want you to enumerate and explain three importance of participating in active recreational activities and submit your output to your teacher through google classroom and that's all for today's discussion class and thank you so much for listening and i hope that you have picked a lot of tips on how to improve your health and fitness level and of course my just request if you did not subscribe yet please do subscribe on my channel and like this video ring that bell for you to be notified uh, with the next videos to come and again thank you so much guys and uh, see you all on my next video this is sir lester saying Let's dream and make it happen. Goodbye, grade 9. <laughs>